Hey, Sisteritas, Jessica Jarris here. Welcome back to the Sisterita Club. I wanted to do a specific video on how to pray the scriptures in your prayer Bible. So in the Create a Prayer Bible process videos that you see that I have, I do demonstrate how I pray the specific prayers, but I wanted to post a specific video so that you see it all in one clip and that you might find that helpful. And the reason why is because, you know, these prayer Bibles are just so adorable and absolutely cute. Um, and I'm very visual. So I like the glitter. I like the tabs. I like the colors. It helps me to want to get into the Word of God and to pray. But I don't want this just to be an art project and something that you like putting together, like a little scrapbook. It's so much more than that. It's an amazing tool in which you can, um, you know, go to battle with the enemy and pray over your friends and family and those big important issues in your life. But I don't want you to create this amazing prayer Bible and then be like, oh my goodness, like, how do I actually pray it? How do I pray these verses into my life and apply it. And so that's what this video is really intended for. So when we're feeling lost, confused, or struggling, it can be helpful to pray the scriptures back to God. And by doing so, we are reminding him of his promises and declaring our faith in him. So praying the scripture back to God can also be a way of increasing our own understanding in the word. And it also, you know, just helps us be able to take in the scriptures and memorize them and ponder them and just focus on the glory of God. And the Bible talks about how it's so important that we do pray and that we are praying scripture because when we're praying scripture, we're aligning our thoughts and our heart with his will. And it's an effective way in which we can also attack the enemy against his lies and focus on God's truth. And I wanted to share, you know, we talk about how important it is to pray in scripture back to the Lord. I wanted to tab this um, and share this with you in Isaiah 55, 11, God's word says, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. So making sure that you are praying scripture, it's vital. And I want you, Sister Rita, to feel empowered and equipped to do so once you have your prayer Bibles um, completed. So there's several different ways in which we can um, pray these scriptures back to the Lord and how we can help them in our prayer life. So let's kind of dig in and talk through that. So find a quiet place where you can connect with God. Begin by praying scripture verses that will help your heart um, prepare for connecting intimately with the Lord. And I do that by praying God's attributes back to him. And I do that because the attributes are um, talking about God's character and his goodness and greatness. And it's also um, a way of praising and worshiping him. And it, you see, and you've heard me mention to kind of follow the Lord's prayer, because in the Lord's prayer, God starts out, Jesus starts out by saying, our father who um, are our father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. So I always start with the attributes because it helps to prepare my heart. And you can use a verse or a passage to shape your prayer. So one way of that is, let's say I'm taking the attributes and I want to pray this scripture verse. I can do exactly that. I can pray the scripture verse, but then allow it to shape my other prayer that I would normally pray. And I can pray what's on my heart after I'm reading that scripture verse, if that makes sense. So for an example, I would say, Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to worship you and just highlight your attributes and your goodness. You say in Exodus um, chapter 15, verse 2, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God and I will praise him. And Father, you have given me victory in my life um, and just helped me to overcome so much through the name of Jesus. And I just thank you and I want to praise you, Father, because you've given me strength. 
um, when I feel weak. And I just want to thank you. I'm so thankful that you are my God. And I just love you with all my heart, Jesus. Help me to have a good day. Help me to be your hands and feet today in all that I do and the people that I um, come across today. Father, help me to be sweet and kind. And, um, and please guide my mouth, my heart, my mind, so that I can be a great witness to you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So you can see how I use that verse to shape my following prayer. Um, the book of Psalms is a great way of starting to, no matter what you're feeling, I have daily prayers in here. I have forgiveness. I have protection. You have lots of different Psalms that you can pray for. So another way that you can pray the Psalms or any verse for that matter is you can know the context of who wrote that verse. And you can say, you can pray it like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to praise you and pray in Psalms 28. I want to pray pray exactly what David said to you, Father. For David proclaimed you and David said, The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. And so, Father, I have the same thought of King David. And I just want to say the same prayer that he did to you, Father. I thank you for all that you've done in my life. And I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's another great way in which you can utilize scripture and pray it back to the Lord. Another way that you can pray back to the Lord is by inserting your name or somebody else's name within that verse. So, for example... If you're praying for someone's salvation, um, <coughs> I am praying for my son's salvation. So I'd go to salvation and you can see how I will insert his name. And I apologize about the lighting, but into this first. So I would say, dear heavenly father, I just want to pray over Stephen. I want to pray that from this point forward that Stephen See, I'm changing instead of you, I'm inserting his name, that Stephen will search again for the Lord, his God. And if Stephen searches for you with all of his heart and soul, that you will find Stephen. In the distant future, when Stephen may be suffering all these things, he will finally return to the Lord, his God, and listen to what you tell him. I pray, Father, that you work in Stephen's heart and help him to draw close to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So hopefully that's a good example of how you can insert someone's name or a group of people into your prayers. Here's another example. I'm going to pray this over purity. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to pray um, for my daughter. Please keep your servant Lillian from deliberate sins. Don't let them control her. Then Lillian will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of Lillian's mouth and the meditation of her heart be pleasing to you. O oh Lord, you are Lillian's rock and her redeemer. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I hope that that helps you, Sister Rita, kind of be able to see how you can dig in to the scriptures and pray those specific um, those specific prayers. So you know, like we've mentioned before, prayer is just a vital part of our relationship with God. And one powerful way to connect with him is to pray those scriptures back to him. And um, we can pick a verse and we can declare it as a truth for a person or a group of, a na of nations. Um, as I've sh shared with you um, today, let me give you an, another example of how you can do that. Um, I know a great verse that I want to share with you. Let me see. Let's go to Acts. So we'll go back through here. 830. I believe I've got this tabbed in this Bible. Maybe it's in my other one. Okay. Yep. So same thing. We're talking about salvation. But everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. Father, I just want to pray over this for my son, Stephen. Because you desire for everyone to be saved and to have knowledge of you, Father. And I just pray over your word, as it says in Acts 
um, that everyone who calls on your name will be saved. And I pray that Stephen will call on your name as a result of having your word in his mind and his heart. Save Stephen for your glory. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, ladies, sister Rita's, brother Rita's. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I just want to encourage you, if you feel as if you aren't doing it right, you are. Just keep praying. You can insert yourself into the verse. You can pray the verse out. You can um, uh, pray the specific verse and then lead into your prayer. Lots of different ways. But I want to remind you um, of Charles Spurgeon. Uh, one thing that he quoted, which I thought was so great, is he said, If in prayer I come before a throne of grace, the faults of my prayer will be overlooked. So keep that in mind, Sister Rita's. Just be in the word, just be praying, and um, God will meet you in your prayers. You'll be delving into the word of God. You're going to find it so enriching in your life, and you're going to see your prayers come to fruition. You're going to see God making a big difference in your life through your prayers. And when we pray those scriptures, it's allowing us to see his will for our life, and it helps us to align with what he wants in our life. So I love you, Sister Rita's. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were on today's video. Join the Sister Rita Club on Facebook and share this video with your friends and family. Love you, Sister Rita's. Bye.